Are barristers' wigs culturally insensitive? Now, it, no, this is an interesting one. This was a story this week. This, the comments came from this QC called Leslie Thomas. And he said, you know the wigs that they wear in the court? And it's, it's sort of, they're like Perry wigs, aren't they? Sort of the, the old uh, white curly wig things. He said they were fashioned for Caucasian hair. They look ridiculous on black people. Michael Etienne, who's one of Thomas's colleagues, he has an afro. And he said that he's been told he'd be in contempt of court if he doesn't wear a wig. So has he got a point, Leo? I mean... Yeah, I mean, well, he, he's saying they re- look ridiculous on black people, but they look ridiculous on white people as well. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Do and we know what they're for, Michael? Do you know what they're for? Like, what, what, it's the purpose of the wig to make every because you're a barrister. I'm putting you on the spot now, sorry. But is it the case that it's to ma- it's to make barristers uh, and, and legal people all look neutral? I suppose, and no. Yeah. Keep it uniform. You keep it all uniform, exactly. Yeah. So that's the idea. I mean, but Lewis, do you think that's unfair? If, if you've got an afro, if you've got a sort of yeah. A, a particular like a 70s style big afro you mean, so. you mean bring instead of that wig put an afro wig on no one's <laughs> well we could just make That's everyone wear afro wig maybe that would be fair as you see you see those tiny the tiny little wigs you have to basically have a shrunken head in they're order very to, small aren't they're, they they're very, they're very small yeah. and i think it's it's sort of unfair i know why you're concerned about it but why are you concerned about it? Because he doesn't have hair. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but for someone like me, who's got magnificent George Clooney-like hair, <laughs> you know, I, would, I wouldn't want to put a, any kind of wig on. Yeah, but this isn't to do with that. It's, it's to do with the idea of... Look, well, you can all agree the wig looks silly, and we wouldn't want to cover your beautiful locks. Yeah. But the thing is, it, 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 it's, it's this idea that actually it's racially insensitive because if you have a certain haircut uh, that it just doesn't work... I mean, surely that should be taken into Well, it, it's along the lines of... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't listen to your question. OK. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so typical. But it's along the lines of the Jewish yarmulke, yeah. which was a hat to cover the heads in the height of... You know, it's hot down there in Israel, right? And, and uh, it's a co- whatever you call Palestine... And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I want to be careful. Yeah, be yeah, careful. you're being balanced. Yeah, being balanced. Exactly. Yeah. And it's hot down there, so you need a hat. But slowly, over time, they got a little embarrassed. It's how lazy, you know, how small. And so they made get. it smaller. Is that how? Is that what I happened? don't know if that's the reason. I mean, <laughs> the problem with having Lewis on is that, <laughs> that I never know whether he's just making stuff up. <laughs> and you, I have him on as an authority. Yeah. And, and you're just. You're, you're, and late, too. My and God. late. Yeah. Late. Yeah. Talking nonsense. Shouldn't he know? I mean, he's a barrister. A ba- a barrister. You shouldn't put someone on the spot because they're a barrister. Ask him how much it costs. That's, but, that's the but most But I, I presume the wigs are given out free. No, right? they're, they're not. not. No. Okay. <laughs> no. I think Fair they're like, enough. They're fair like, enough. 